What would an enemy want to do to the people of Hawaii during wartime? They would want to cut us off from international shipping. Well, this is what the law does to us all the time. My name is uh, Ken Schooland. I'm a professor of economics at Hawaii Pacific University, and I'm on the Board of Scholars of the Grassroot Institute of Hawaii. I think the biggest problem facing the state of Hawaii today is the Jones Act, and I'm extremely grateful to attorney John Carroll for bringing a lawsuit that challenges this on the grounds of interstate commerce. The Jones Act is a law that was passed in the 1920s to protect the American shipping industry from competition, basically. The result of this has been that uh, many parts of uh, the country now are cut off from 90% of all the world's shipping uh, because of this law that says any ships that go from one American port to another American port have to be on an American vessel. Uh, that means that they have to spend much, much more money to pay for American ships that were built in American ports, uh, owned by American companies, at a much higher cost to bring things uh, to Hawaii from California, for example. Hawaii is cut off from 90% of all the world's shipping at much, much lower rates in bringing things here to the islands. Consider the, um, the words of the economist Henry George, who said, protectionism in all of its forms does to your own people in peacetime what the enemy would do to you in wartime. And consider, what, what would an enemy want to do to the people of Hawaii during wartime? They would want to cut us off from international shipping. That's what the effect of a, of, a, of a hurricane would be, too, to cut us off from international shipping. Well, this is what the law does to us all the time, not just in, in a moment of emergency. The president recently waived this requirement uh, after Hurricane Sandy in the East Coast to allow international shipping to bring supplies to the destitute people in, in New York in that area. Well, why should we just get this access to the world's shipping at much, much lower rates during an emergency time. It should be happening all the time because our economy essentially is in, always in an emergency. A ship that's going from China to Los Angeles has to bypass Hawaii. Here we are in the middle of the, of the Atlantic where all the shipping is going back and forth and it has to bypass Hawaii. We could be certainly as rich and prosperous as Singapore or Hong Kong if we were allowed to have the access to the world. If you look in the harbor here, a hundred years ago, the harbor in Pearl, Pearl Harbor was filled with ships from all over the world. Foreign flags uh, in abundance, and now hardly anything. Certainly Alaska and Hawaii are put at an enormous competitive disadvantage by this Jones Act, which affects them much more so because we don't have the alternatives of trucking and railroad transportation. We think that being totally self-sufficient by cutting off the rest of the world, then we can produce all of our own things. Then we lose out the opportunity for enormous benefits from the comparative advantage by the specialization and division of labor, by being able to buy products from around the world and to sell to the whole world the things that we are well suited to produce. I mean, consider bananas and, and agricultural products and sugar and pineapple, things that could be sent to the world much, much more cheaply um, if we were allowed to access all these other, this other shipping. But Hawaii can't serve the world, and we can't be served by the world. 